What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp tutorial. Um, today uh, we're going to use a plugin that I talked about last week called Curvaloft. Um, and we're going to model kind of a little uh, rowboat, sailboat type thing. So um, let's go ahead and just jump into it. So what we're going to do is you're going to start off by creating kind of a rectangular shape. So you can use the rectangle tool or something like that and then uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a little arc to this line right here so you're gonna come in here with the arc tool and just add a little line um, and then you can erase this piece right here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna push pull this into 3d and uh, so what we're do what we're doing is we're kind of roughing out the basic shape of our uh, boats hull and uh, so first thing we're gonna do is gonna create this shape and then what we are going to do is you're going to come in here with the offset tool and create just a little bit of an offset like this. So offset this by tapping the F key and clicking on this face. And then uh, go ahead and close this off. So come in here, close this little shape off like this. You can go ahead and erase this line. And again, what we're doing is we're just kind of roughing out our hull. So what we're going to do is we're going to use push-pull to push this piece down. And then once we've done that, we've got kind of a hollow box looking shape. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to use the, sh the scale tool to uh, kind of stretch this to make the shape that we want. But the first thing we want to do is just come in here and draw a couple little boards. And you're going to extrude them across like this. So you can create one, then you can use the move tool to copy the other one. But uh, you want to go ahead and do this before you do the scaling of your hull because that way the end face of these boards will kind of stretch with that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come in here and we're going to use the scale tool to stretch this face. So click on this face on the top of your board, uh, tap the S key to activate the scale tool and then you're going to go ahead and click and drag just like this. Anyway, so go ahead and click and drag that face and then um, use the scale tool again. You're going to use that to kind of bend the front part of your boat forward and also to bend the back of it backwards. So you're creating kind of a boat shape. And what we're doing is we're modeling half of this. And then once we've modeled half of it, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to select it all. You're going to right click and you're going to click make component. You can just call it boat or whatever you want to call it. But go ahead and click create. And then you're going to use the move tool to create a copy of this. So use move tool in copy mode. Um, and again, to activate copy mode, just tap that control key. You can use the scale tool to scale this so that it flips. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to put the two pieces of the boat together. So this is pretty much any anytime you have something that's uh, Anytime you have something that's basically two halves mirrored over an axis, you should do it with components and just model one side. So that way if you come in here and you make any changes or anything like that, it'll change on both sides. So that's the way that you want to do that. So now that we've kind of roughed out our boat shape, what you're going to do is you're going to draw the mast. And uh, it doesn't need to be super big. Um, probably put it like right in front of this seat right here. But you're going to go ahead and draw a circle and then you're just going to push pull that circle just like this so that it's a fair amount above your boat. Um, so now you've kind of got a mast in here and you can come in here and make it a group. I probably would just to um, keep all your different geometries from merging and stuff like that. But we can go ahead and call this the mast. And now you're going to come in here and you're just going to draw a line down the face of your mast. Um, and you can tap the down key to lock that on the blue axis if you want. But you're just drawing a line along the face of your mast like this. And then you're going to kind of draw it out to here. So you're going to kind of make a triangular shape with this so that this face fills in. And so now you've got kind of a general sail shape, which is fine. But we kind of want our sail to look more like it's billowing in the wind and we want it to look kind of fancy. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to use a plugin that I talked about last week called Curviloft. If you don't have that plugin, you can download it by going to the uh, post on my website, uh, the SketchupEssentials.com slash Curviloft, and that'll have a link to where you can download that plugin. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to draw an arc along this face right here. So 
you're just going to draw an arc so that you've got kind of a circle right here. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to erase this line. So now what we have is we have the line on your mast, we have the bottom of your sail, and you have your sail piece right here. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use Curve Aloft. And what Curve Aloft has is an option in here called Skinning. Um, so activate the Curve Aloft toolbar. And then this option right here will allow you to create a face with three or four um, lines. So it'll come in here and it'll create a face inside this sail. So all you need to do is shift click on these lines. So you want to select this line, this line, and this line to select all three of those lines. And then you want to come in here and you just want to click this skinning option. So if you click this skinning option in Curve Aloft, what it's going to do is it's going to add a face in between all these different points, uh, which is perfect. It creates our sail shape, which is what we're looking for. And then um, once you've clicked skinning and you like the way this looks, you can just kind of click off here and it'll create your sail. So now you've got this cool sail shape that kind of arcs and everything like that. And you can get a little more in depth with this if you want, make it a little fancier, but that's really all that I wanted to do. And then uh, the last kind of thing I'm gonna do with this uh, boat model is I'm just gonna come in here with the rotate tool and uh, I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna rotate the sail a little bit so it's kind of off to the side over here. Um, instead of straight forward and backward. And then you can come in here and you can erase these guidelines if you want to. You don't really need them anymore. So, anyway, so now you've got this cool sailboat shape in here. So now you've got this sailboat shape in here. If you want, you can come into this model and you can use the erase tool to hide the intersection lines between the two halves of your boat. So it'll make it look a little more, uh, a little more realistic. Um, you can also come in here and hide some of this stuff if you want to. Anyway, I know this is kind of a simple model, but uh, I find that simple models are just a really good way to illustrate principles. And then uh, you can go out there and you can use what you've learned from this video to uh, create your own stuff and start creating your own uh, your own skins and stuff like that. So anyway, just a quick tutorial showing you a couple different uh, tactics and tools you can use in SketchUp to create shapes that aren't just like rectangles and triangles and boxes and stuff like that. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please remember to click that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and uh, if you're new around here, I'm coming out with new SketchUp content every week. I'd love to have you along for the ride. So uh, make sure you click that subscribe button. And uh, if there's anything you'd like to see or uh, if you have an opinion about kind of what I've showed you here, if you have a different way of doing this, I'd love to hear about it. So uh, leave a comment below and uh, let me know. And uh, once again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. So thanks, guys.